At the beginning of COVID, food trucks found their way to Belfast, an open-air offering that made it easier to drop your mask. But now, with restrictions being lifted, food trucks are having to find different ways to bring in customers. Must Be Nice Lobster was a food truck until this year when they moved into a brick-and-mortar location on the corner of Cross and Federal. One reason for this was the price of rent to have a food truck in one of their designated locations. Although this change has worked thus far, that doesn't mean it didn't come with any challenges. Advertising and like people trying to find us. It's like, I feel like a food truck is pretty easy to find because it's like, it's right there. It's like usually in the open and it's like, you can see it really well. Like down here, we're like tucked in. It's hard to find. Other problems food trucks in Belfast are facing are just getting food delivered, not to mention the rising food costs for the trucks and consumers. The price and hassle of obtaining a permit and the weather plays a part as well. With food trucks like Jamaican Grill and Stone Fox Creamery leaving, one local owner says there's one way people can come back to the food trucks, more public parking. But they could certainly make it more friendly for people to um, park food trucks uh, in the downtown area, yeah, um, or at least even in, you know, other city and areas uh, um, to, to draw more of a crowd. Food truck life is not for the faint at heart. There's a lot of work. I think it's a lot more work than people realize uh, um, goes into it. And I mean, it's a commercial kitchen on wheels, so. Despite the many hurdles to climb and challenges to face, food trucks that are still here in Belfast hope that their form of business is here to stay, not only for themselves, but for the people who enjoy it. In Belfast, Doug Banks, ABC7 and Fox 22 News.